What does it take to be a professional singer? Our next guest can tell you. Ryan Peter Murphy from Connecticut has been singing everywhere since he was a child. Here's a little of what he sounds like now. The song is called No Plans. My guests are singer Ryan Peter Murphy and his producer Max Harris. Welcome to you both. Thank you for having us. All right, you're graduating from, <clears throat> excuse me, Berkeley School of Music. You're still there. How'd you meet and how did, how did this duo come together? <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, I actually was always playing ping pong uh, in, the, in the lounge, in the school lounge at Berkeley. And uh, Max came and played me a few times. He blew me out every single time. Okay. <laughs> but. <laughs> But uh, one one time he uh, he DM'd me on Instagram and uh, he wanted to collaborate on a on a music project and it happened to be No Plans, and I wrote the melodies and lyrics over the the track, and then just kind of went from there. Yeah. All right, you're his producer. Does he yeah. does he do everything you tell him? Well, you know, sometimes he, he does his own thing, but uh, it's easy to get him back on track. So that's why I love working with him, you know. Uh, you know, we're best friends with each other, so yeah, yeah. it's pretty easy. I can be a little hard on him, you know, but yeah, when, most of the time when I tell him what to do, he does it, so. All right, yeah. Max, you're graduating from Berkeley. Yes. You're still there. One more year, yes. What are the plans for your future? Are you guys going to stay together? What, what, what are the plans? Yeah, so I mean, I think we're planning on working on music, uh, you know, for the rest of our lives, pretty much, yeah. you know, no matter where we are. Yeah. Right now, I've been in Nashville, actually, for the last six months. Um, and then after that, you know, I'm moving to Los Angeles. And um, Do you sing? Do you play an instrument? How'd you get uh, into Berkeley? I wish I could sing. <laughs> it's the one thing, uh, you know, I'm very bad at, so okay. you definitely don't want to hear that. I heard um, him. He's not, he's not the greatest. <laughs> but uh, I actually got into Berkeley for uh, music production stuff, so. Great. I do a lot of electronic music production, you know, you can hear that influence and no plans and all of our other music, so. All right. Yeah. So, Ryan, I followed you for a long, long time. How did you start singing and why as a kid? So, uh, my, my family's not very musical oriented, uh, except for my grandfather. Uh, he was really great at the piano and he's really good at songwriting. And uh, I just started singing around the house. I used to like put on shows for my parents. And my grandmother saw me one time playing with these like toy dragons and she was like, he actually has somewhat of like a nice voice. You should take him to a voice teacher. And so I, I met with Kathy Kenzel in uh, Brantford, Connecticut. And she said to me, she pointed at me, and she said, you, my friend, have it. You have that golden voice. And she, she pretty much pushed me to become, you know, the singer I am today. How'd you get into Berkeley? Me. I mean, what'd you have to do to get in? Did you just send them some of your vocals? What'd you do? So I, I auditioned with about, I think, three to four different songs. It was a mix of jazz and pop. And I think I threw one musical theater song in there. And uh, it, was pretty, it was pretty easy because I performed so much that it wasn't really much for me. And I, I, I enjoyed the experience going to visit. Uh, I actually did the high school jazz festival the summer before I got into Berkeley. I won the best male vocalist there. And that was my first taste of the Berkeley experience. Sure. Then a year later, I'm um, a freshman there and really enjoyed my time there so far. Ryan, how did you pick a, a genre to sing? Oh, that's a tough one because I, I do lots of, I sing every genre of music. But what do you want to be known for? Uh, I'd say, I mean, I, I can sing the standards, but songwriting wise uh, and with Max Blush and everything, uh, definitely the mainstream pop. Uh, I'm not really sure how I, I just like listening to whatever is on the top of the charts. And right I think now you kind of sound like so. Michael Bublé. Thank you. Thank you. I, Michael Bublé was a huge, uh, someone I really looked up to when I was younger and I used to do the standards. Uh, and then as I've gotten older, I've gotten into more singing pop music, yeah, sure. and writing that. It's important to write your own music, right? Do you, do you write as well, Max? Yeah, so I mean, I try as much as I can. I, I do a lot of the melodies, okay. um, which, you know, a lot of the times comes out bad. He kind of has to figure out what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to <laughs> sing. But uh, yeah, I do most of the lyrics too. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's all collaborative. So, you know, from the production all the way down to the lyrics, it's kind of, you know, half Very and half. So. so Ryan, when you graduate, when is that? That's going to be next spring. Okay. Yes. What are what are the plans? What are, what kind of foundation are you leading to, to for your future? So I've been spending the past two years really getting um, six to eight really solid songs that I have uh, under my belt, uh, and I've done a lot of them with Max Harris and uh -huh. also another producer, Jonathan Plummer, at Berkeley, 
and I'm hoping that uh, once I release all these singles, I only have one out, but once I release the six more, it'll get me to a point where I can start touring and start developing a brand. And uh, I mean, I, my goal is like to become a, a very well-known artist in, in this industry, and I feel like I have the capability to do that. So I've just been trying to build a, you know, a, a good. Uh, selection of songs that I have that are of the utmost professional level uh, and uh, yeah I hope you know that takes me to the level you want to be at yeah. so I'm gonna put you on the spot and you can say no but can you sing 20 seconds of something right now I can yeah do well, it do you want me to sing a jazz song a pop go song? ahead <laughs> give me 20 seconds uh, I'll do I'll, I'll do a, a standard actually okay uh, With each word, your tenderness grows, tearing my fears apart. And that laugh wrinkles your nose, it touches my foolish heart. It's just a standard. Great job. <laughs> Since I've known you so long, I thought, I'm going to try to ask you that, and you did it. That's great. Listen, all the best to you. Thank you so um, much. I know I will be hearing your songs on the radio or wherever else, and keep up so. with the standards. I love those. I will. I'm trying to do both. Yeah, all hopefully. the best to you, Max. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks so that. much. Thank you. And for more on Ryan Peter Murphy and his music, go to WTNH.com. And now playing us out is his latest single, Upbeat Original. Coming up, boy, that's a name we'll hear again down the road. Very talented. Coming up next, on News 8 at 9.